So now let me go to show you some of these apps that we've built just to demonstrate how to use this. So this is an example called Ask News. Let me go click on this so I go to the actual application. So here we've actually crawled using Victar Ingest a bunch of news sources from BBC, NPR, CNN, etc. And as you can see, this scrolls, this scrolling happens every day. It adds the new news articles, crawls their content, and adds them to this corpus. Now, when I run a query, let's say should AI be regulated, you can see that it does the retrieval really quickly, and it gives you a response here to answer the question. Now, not only that, it has, as, I sh as I've said earlier, these citations. So you can click on one of these citations and see, okay, this part of the answer was given from this article based on this information. You can actually click on this and go to that URL and see you know, what, where it came from and investigate further. So this gives a lot of trust and, and it's very useful. I also wanted to mention that we have an option here to use different languages. So for example, I can try to get the answer in German. And of course, I don't speak German, so I won't be able to tell you if this is correct or not. But you can see that the answer gets translated into German, which is really, really helpful. And again, this is happening even though all the text is in English. So it knows how to match between languages really, really well. So that's an example of a, a question answering application. The next one I want to show you is actually the same application, Ask News, but now using HHEM. So we created a little demo of how you could use it, although there's, there's a, uh, many other ways. So this is Ask News, but if I ask the same question, what you see happening here is that the response gets generated in the same way, but then after it gets generated, there's an evaluation of the confidence using HHEM. So this, this little step runs the HHEM in this case, it's using the hugging face inference model, and it generates an evaluation of this. In this case, yeah, this high confidence. It means that this response is not a hallucination relative to the facts. So this is one way you can use HHEM on your own in your application to, to do that. So moving on here, this is question answering, but I also mentioned uh, chatbots quite a bit. So let's look at, oh, I didn't mean to click that. Let's look at a chatbot example. So here's a chatbot. This is on Hugging Face, again, built with the Victor APIs. So what we did here is create another corpus, crawled about 100 or 150 pages from the IRS website and put them in a corpus. And now I can ask some questions about this. So for example, I can go in and say, say is my college tuition tax deductible? So again, it'll go into the, the corpus and try to answer this question based on the information I crawled in the website. Full disclosure and warning, please don't use this website other than for demo purposes and use your tax advisor to file your taxes. I <laughs> just have to say that, but it's just meant to show a demo, okay? But again, you get this answer. And the nice thing about the chatbot is you can then ask a follow-up question. So for example, here it said, Cost tuition and related expenses may be tax deductible under certain conditions. So I can say, what conditions would make it tax deductible? And the idea is that it'll know that make it probably refers to college tuition, right? Uh, so it has that context of the previous question and the previous answer. So it really answers the chatbot. And you see that it can, it knows that already. So this is a chatbot. I also want to emphasize, again, this is all open source. So if you go to this particular website, you can actually see the files and all the code here, including how we <clears throat> run the query and the whole application and everything like that. So, you know, feel free to use that as a reference to build your own app if you like.